Hey, Shalom, Shalom. Coming back again with another exhortation. I pray and hope that it's edifying to you. Hopefully, like Akium, Wa Akwaf out there. First and foremost, as always, uh, I'd like to give all praise, glory, and honor to the true, holy, and powerful names of the Heavenly Father and His beloved Son, who the world ignorantly calls God in Jesus Christ. All right, the Most High Power of Israel, which is Yahweh Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem, Hakwadash. All right, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Uh, that do rule and teach well with the correct doctrines and exhortations of the heavenly scriptures. Peace and salutations to your hopeful elect Akim that's out there teaching this word in all truth and in sincerity. And as well, if you sincere, Akwaf, our sisters that come across this video, Shalom. All right, um, I just want to touch on this article that you see before you on the screen. It's from, uh, I believe this is time.com. I don't think it's Time Magazine. I think it's, it's time.com. <clears throat> anyway, you know, there's other sources that you can go to for this information as well. As you see the title, it says, As Elites Arrive in Davos, Conspiracy Theories Thrive Online. Okay. Uh, and recently you had, you know, world leaders all meet up as they normally do. All right. Um, to discuss their future plans and goals in the earth. Okay. And what they, uh, you know, want to accomplish. You know, ultimately... Their will is the will of the Heavenly Father in many regards, okay? They do have things outside of His will, like living forever and, you know, uh, uh, having dominion over the earth forever, okay? But that's not going to be accomplished, all right? Pursuant to Psalms, the second chapter, to say, why do the heathen rage and imagine a vain thing, okay? And that vain thing is that, you know, they're going to defeat the Heavenly Father's son, Yahweh when he returns with the host of heaven, for one. You know, they make certain movies about that, like uh, Independence Day, War of the Worlds, etc. And then two, you know, that they're going to uh, fulfill their wicked agenda. All right. And, and have control over the earth forever. OK, but it's not going to be the case. So, you know, but anyway, um, so they're getting together. They got together. Um, and um, the title says says a lot right there. All right, at least arriving Davos conspiracy theories thrive online. All right, and what they call conspiracy theories are misinformation is actually the truth. Okay, and they don't want you to know that because it'll put a dent into their into their uh their plans, man. Their their uh power, uh, you know, in large part is based off of uh, uh stealthness. All right, uh, um, based off of secrecy and deception. You know, they got to keep things covered up, you know, in order to deceive the people. But we living in a time where a lot of people are uh, waking up to what's going on in the world, man. OK. And this article going to get into that. You know, a lot of people is, um, you know, uh, uh, getting on board with the conspiracy theories, man. So-called. And as you see here, the, the sign in itself for the World Economic Forum, all right, has a... Uh, you see where all the O's are at in the word world and economic and forum. You have a line that's going through there. Okay. And really that's a uh, six, six, six. Okay. And you know, if you got eyes to see and ears to hear, that's what, that's what that's about, man. Six, six, six. And when you go into it in the uh, revelation, matter of fact, let's just jump to it real quick. Revelation, the 13th chapter. All right. Let's see, Revelation 13, and bear with me, phone moving a little slow. <clears throat> anyway, I ain't got to get into it, but um, Revelation 13 chapter, where it speaks about how um, it, uh, here's the number of the beasts, him to have understanding, uh, uh, let him count the number of the beasts, for it is the number of a man, and it's number 300, three score, and six. Okay, which is 666, the UPC code on all the products that you buy. All right, the barcode. Okay, so goes to show you that, you know, this, this is talking about the devil, man, the elites. Okay. Anyway, it says, uh, let's just start reading it to it. It says, New York, when some of the world's wealth, uh, wealthiest and most influ influential figures gathered at the World Economic Forum's annual meeting last year, sessions on climate climate change drew 
high level of discussions on topics such as carbon financing and suitable food systems. All right. And uh, no doubt, you know, they're talking about certain things like climate change and uh, uh, global warming, you know, because that's going to be one of the things they use as a means of control. You know, you're going to have the whole carbon footprint thing going. All right. In which, um, you know, they're going to be they're going to have like a carbon credit system. Same thing they're doing over there in China. China is like the forerunner for a lot of these uh, so-called revolutionary ideas, these new ideas. OK. In which, um, you know. In order to keep the CO2 levels in the planet down, you know, they have to monitor your carbon emissions. OK. So everything that you do from driving to um, hell, breathing, because, you know, you breathe out carbon, you you inhale uh, oxygen, you breathe out carbon dioxide. Um, What else, man? Just just every facet of life, they got to have to monitor to see whether or not, you know, you comply to the the uh, the the the, uh, the environment, you know, that you're doing what's conducive for the betterment of the environment. This is how they're going to try to spin it. Well, ultimately, it's about control, okay? And how they going what they're gonna use to monitor and track all your behavior is gonna be that MOTB, that uh, you know, that karagma spoken of in Revelation the thirteenth chapter, in which you won't be able to buy or sell unless you have it, all right, embedded in your skin. Okay? So you know these these are some of the talking points as they all gather to meet. Okay. Let's keep reading though. It says, but an entirely different narrative played out on the internet where social media users claim leaders wanted to force the population to eat insects instead of meat in the name of saving the environment. All right. <laughs> and what's what's funny about this is. Let me see. Salakia. What's funny about that statement right there where say uh, leaders claim that they want to force the population to eat insects instead of meat in the name of saving the environment. I had uh, highlighted, already got an article pulled up, you know, I highlight this part right here. And uh, when you go to the article that pops up, is this right here. And this is from the World Economic, uh, you know, forum, uh, .org. Okay. So this is from their very own website. And as you see, you got bugs. I guess those are supposed to be like, goddamn worms or man what do you call them but anyway you know i guess they got at the top you got the image of the bugs and at the bottom you got them all grounded up into food what you ain't supposed to be eating bugs is another thing that you can um look into where it goes into the the different bacteria that bugs carry and how um it is it's not it's not uh, healthy for the human body to ingest that your human body can't in, can't ingest bugs we were never designed to be eating bugs man okay so that goes against nature itself but anyway what's the title of that right here look at the title it says why we need to give insects the role they deserve in our food system back in july 12 uh 2021 so this has already been in the works all right already been discussed you see so how is it in the other article it's talking about that that's the conspiracy theories that people were saying no man it's facts it says all right right here it says by 2000 so like yeah, if i can highlight it <clears throat> it says by 2050 the world's food supply will need it to feed another two billion people all right and they're already looking what uh 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 30 40 years into the future Okay, year year uh 2050, which look man, we're not gonna get that far. All right, the prophecies are the prophets are on the scene. All right, prophesying the downfall of this place, and the Lord always does that before He brings major destruction. So that time, uh uh uh, is near and dear, man. All right. Anyway, so it says uh, and and the, the earth can hold uh, uh shit, many many people. They talking about the earth is going to be overpopulated and all this and that. That's bullshit, man. All right. There's acres and acres of land that's not being occupied that humans can can live on, man. When you look at Esau, he got a lot of farmland that they don't, uh, especially out here in Wisconsin. You know, a lot of different uh, farmland, you know, where they're not uh, being utilized acres after acres. 
you know anyway it says insect farming for food and animal feed could over could offer an environmental friendly solution to the impeding food crisis okay and that's another thing they talking about too different food crises was that's not even a thing all right there's enough food on the planet to sustain you know all all of humanity man all right what they're doing is engineering a food crisis through the different uh through different means okay like uh you know uh messing you know diesel shortages all right they're, they're burning down factories that uh for food supply they're uh bribing different farmers to destroy their crops okay um what else man they uh there's a lot of things they're doing to create to engineer a food crisis man all right anyway and the, and the, and the pandemic was a major thing that hit the food uh supply system man you know they they've been using that heavily anyway though it says a source of protein and fertilizer emerging technologies could help bring insects back into the food system at at scale all right that's all i want to read out of that you know you can go back and uh you know look into this for yourself they got a title all right but let's go back to the main article all right because this phone ain't got that much of a charge on it so let's go back here so as you see man that's not a conspiracy man uh let's see now here it says the annual event at the swiss sky resort town of davos which opens monday has increasingly became a target of bizarre claims that growing court um choirs of commentators who believe the forum involves a group of elites manipulating global events for their own benefit experts say what was once a conspiracy theory found in internet's found in the internet's underbelly has now hit hit mainstream okay and that's another talking point within these meetings as well okay is that they need to uh, uh squash out disinformation so-called all right or, or the truth you see because the truth is getting out there mainly via the prophets of the heavenly father man okay which we bring out the ultimate truth for the scriptures all right and, and give you the ultimate end of it all they're not going to win according to the to the biblical prophecies man all right they're not going to fulfill their agenda as scriptures say in the um, book of job the fifth chapter they shall not fulfill their enterprise which lord willing you know i can get into those precepts after this article all right but um so yeah all right it's going to lead to what is known in the scriptures as the famine of the word matter of fact let's get that real quick amos 8 it's the book of amos chapter 8 verse 11 right Uh, something ain't right. It ain't going to it. <clears throat> Here we go. This is the book of Amos, chapter 8 and 11. It says, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, power, that I will send a famine in the land. Not a famine of bread, nor the thirst of water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. All right? And that's because the truth is going to be squashed out, you know, on the, uh, uh, from all major platforms. Okay, along with other sources of truth, you know, it's coming from these different, um, you know, uh, independent uh, alternative news media, you know, that's out there, you know, that, that gives a boatload of uh, solid information and facts, you know, especially around uh, the suddenly, the D.I.E. suddenly, that's, that people have been, uh, that's been happening to people that have been getting juiced up, you know, so... You know, uh, uh, yeah, man. So the, so the truth in all facets, whether it's from, you know, a heathen or it's from the uh, Esau, like scripture say, he shall make his own tongue to fall upon himself. All right. All of that is going to be squashed out. Look what they did with uh, Alex Jones, you know, finding him that much money for 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 in a defamation trial for so-called, um, you know, uh, uh, saying lies about the Sandy Hook thing. OK. Which that was all just a, a ploy that they was using to uh to scare everybody else, you know, to not uh speak truth. Anyway, Amos eight and eleven it says, 
Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, power that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor the thirst of water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. All right, and there, there is going to be an actual famine as well, okay, of food and water, you see, but it's going to be twofold, all right? <sighs> so like, it says, verse two, it says, and they shall wander from sea to sea, and from north even unto the east, they shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord, Yahweh, and shall not find it, all right? So a lot of people, hey, this is, this is the time to get the truth, okay? The scriptures say, uh, seek ye the Lord while he may be found, okay? And that time is right now in his grace period that the Lord has provided through his son, Yahweh Shai. All right. But soon that doors of mercy is going to close, man. You see, because we are the hopeful elect, the prophets, you know, Lord willing, we be that number. All right. Are like Noah. All right. Back in Noah's day, when you read in Genesis, the sixth chapter, spoke about how the world is, uh, became just evil, you know, completely Everybody's mind was focused on doing wickedness, all right, and it's self pleasure. It wasn't focused on the Most High, other than knowing His fam, okay. And then what? The 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 Lord put the Spirit on uh, Noah, okay, to to fear Him, all right, and to ultimately do His will and prepare, you know, the, you know, a, a ark to the saving of His household, man. You see, but while He was preparing the ark, He was out there prophesying, all right, and telling the people like, "Hey, it's gonna rain, man." You know, the Lord ain't pleased with what y'all doing on the earth. And he, he want to destroy all of y'all, man. It's going gonna, it's gonna to rain. It's going to be a, you know. And they didn't believe him. And it's the same way now. Okay. We we are Noah in, in this day and time, man. Okay. And soon the world is going to uh, experience that judgment. Okay. So, uh, that was it. Let me go back to the article. All right. It says uh, here, quote, this isn't a conspiracy that is playing out in extreme fringes. It says, says Alex, Alex Friedfield, a researcher with the Anti-Defamation League who studies anti-government extremists, extremism, <laughs> you know, and that's the thing, man, you know, they up in there talking about that, too. You know, these extremists, you know, these threats to um, democracy, these threats to global stability and and you know uh 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 and this and that you see when I mean, ultimately no nah, we like hey look this is a wicked agenda that they trying to push all right and, and that's what we're trying to share a lot on man it ain't got nothing to do with being extremists yeah we, we yeah we extreme through the spirit you know when exposing this devil we out there putting our faces out there you know it may seem extreme to the people of the world but that's just what the scriptures prescribe man all right, scriptures say we are made a spectacle unto angels and men. See, but anyway, let's keep reading. It says, uh, right here, it says, quote, we're seeing it on mainstream social media platforms being shared by regular Americans. We were seeing it happen, we were seeing it being spread by mainstream media figures right on their prime time news, uh, on their nightly networks. You see? So yeah, man, mainstream. Down here, it says the meeting draws heads of state, business executives, cultures, trendsetters, and uh representatives from international organizations to the Lux Mountain Town. Thought uh though it's all, all also unclear how much concrete action will emerge, the meeting is slated to take on pressing global issues from climate change and economic uncertainty to geopolitical instability and public health. See, so they're talking about, hey, that's another thing, you know, uh, uh, um, economic insecurity, you know, because you're going to have um, a collapse. I believe uh, just today, yesterday, the U.S. defaulted on their loans, you know, or uh, hit, hit the debt ceiling. All right. So that may very well lead to a collapse, you know, the, the rise in uh, gas prices, food prices, you know, hyperinflation. You see, that's that's that, you know, which is all of this stuff is being engineered, man. OK, this is what's uh, the leader of the world world economic forum, Klaus Schwab. He said uh, uh, speak, spoke about a global reset. OK, back in 2020, that's what it was called, a global reset. You see, so. In order to build back better, 
and reset everything, you have to destroy the old system, the old way of doing things. Okay, which was through, uh, you know, the uh, money system and whatnot. Okay, that's where you get that's where you getting the whole CBDC from, man. Okay, probably should have mentioned that earlier when I talked about talked about the MOTB. But yeah, that's 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 uh the prelude to the ultimate CHIP that they want to force on the population, man. Okay. So it says global instability and geopolitical instability and public health. Okay, they you know a new uh plan, a new demic, all right, is underway. Okay. I've got an article as it pertains to that, which I'm not going to get into within this lesson. All right, but there's there's um talks of a new form of the disease that's that's spreading that's gonna cause uh global instability and this and that. So when it comes to to that is that that's far from over all right the second wave of it is about to take place in which they're gonna lock everything down man this is when they're gonna push the agenda completely because they know they got but a short time pursuing a revelation 12 and 12 anyway it says here it says hundreds of public sessions are planned by the four day conference is also known for secretive background meetings and dealings by business leaders the gap between what's shown in the public and what happens behind closed doors help makes help make that that makes the meeting a flashpoint for misinformation. <laughs> and check it out, man. Hey, right there, man. And the scriptures go into how they uh gather in darkness. You know that they do little things behind closed doors. Let's get into that real quick. All right, in Psalm sixty four chapter. All right. The so book of Psalms, chapter 64, beginning at verse 1, it says, Psalm of David, hear my voice, O Most High, in my prayer, preserve my life from fear of the enemy. Okay, the top enemy of the nation of Israel is Esau, Edom, the Amalekites, all right, the Ish people, the top wicked elite banking families, all right, who, who are also Ish, little hat people, 1948 is whatever you want to call them, that currently occupy and rule the world. So in the Job 9 and 24, the earth had been given into the hand of the wicked. Okay. Covered the faces of the judges thereof. You know, going back to iconoclasm during the uh, 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 the Renaissance period. All right. And they came back at the power. Anyway, so we, King David was asking to preserve his life from the fear of the enemy, man. And that's the same sentiment we share to this very day. Verse 2. It says, hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked, from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity. Okay? And that's the thing, man. This is a, a secret counsel of a, of a bunch of wicked elite. Okay? And they, they plotting on all type of wickedness, man, when they get together like this. Okay? So, it ain't a conspiracy. When you, when you go into the word conspiracy or to conspire, this is a group of, group of people that get together and have, you know, discussions to, to conspire. You know, you see, that's 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 what the word goes into, man. You know, and that's what they doing. They, that's the reason why you don't have, you know, they, there's a little bit they'll share with the public, but everything else is behind closed doors, man. Why is that? Anyway, it says verse three, it says, who wet their tongue like a sword and bend their bows to shoot their arrows, even bitter words. All right. These different. Um. You know legislations that they pass which i can go into isaiah 10 for that but anyway let's keep reading verse 4 it says that they may shoot in secret at the at the perfect speaking about israel israel okay that they shoot at in secret a lot of their plans uh is is largely surrounding the, uh, the israelites man okay that's the reason why the times that we enter into is known as jacob's trouble in the book of jeremiah the third the 30th chapter okay because they know that they got to get try to get rid of Israel ultimately if they want to uh, maintain power on earth. All right, because we got next. So in the second Ezra six and nine. OK. Uh, let's see. Verse five, it says they encourage themselves in the evil matter. They commune in lying snares privately. They say who shall see them. OK. And that's the thing, man. They encouraging themselves in the evil matter. They like, you know, one person standing up like, hey, what do you think we should do about this? 
And then the guy get up, hey, woo, 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 they all have like a council. You know, they all talk amongst themselves like, oh, okay. The next person like, oh, okay, that's a good idea. That's excellent. You know, let's go with that. They encourage themselves, you know, in evil matters, man. You know, plotting on, you know, wickedness. It's a scripture that say they, um, they sleep not unless they cause something to fail, man. You know, they sleep is taken away. I should get this in the NLT real quick. One second. All right, check it out in the NLT towards the uh, the right of the screen. All right, it says they encourage themselves to do evil. It says they uh, they plan on how to set traps in secret. Who will ever notice? They ask. Okay, <laughs> and was you know they better understand if they don't know. All right, that the Lord is ultimately watching them, man. Okay, scriptures speak about how. In the uh, book of uh, Psalm, I mean Proverbs 15 and 3, where it says the eyes of the Lord are in every place, beholding the evil and the good. Okay, the eyes of the Lord is going into the chariots, the angels. All right, they're watching everything, man. All right, and they're reporting it back to the Heavenly Father. Okay. Anyway, so it says, uh, let's go back to the left right here. It says they search, uh, Psalm 64 and uh, 6, it says they search out iniquities. They accomplish a diligent search, both the inward thought of every one of them and the heart is deep. On the right, it says, uh, as they plot their crimes, they say we have devised a perfect plan. <laughs> yes, a human heart and mind, the, the human heart and mind is cunning. Okay, but um, so yeah, man, you know, this is what they doing, man. They they uh plotting out different crimes, man, on the planet Earth, cause they they ain't nothing but a bunch of criminals. You see, they think that their plan is gonna work to perfection, okay, go off without a hitch. But guess what? The Lord is gonna stick a a huge monkey wrench into their plans, man. Okay, they think they got it all put together. They got, you know, they said the heart of them is very deep. You know, they got they got a plan on top of plan. They got a backup plan. Plan A, plan B, plan C, D, you know? But all that ain't gonna matter. Matter of fact, let's jump from here. And we're gonna go back to the article, but let's jump from here to, uh, what is it? Job and 5. Job 5. I believe it's verse 14. Kind. Job 5 and uh, 12. It says, He disappointed the devices of the crafty. So that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. Okay. And that's what the Lord is going to do to this devil, man. It's disappointing. It's another scripture in Job, the 20th chapter, where it speaks about um, when he's in the fullness of his sufficiency, he shall be in straits. And so like it. Come on, man. All right. We go to his word, enterprise. Bear with me. It's because of where I'm at in this in this basement. I'm in a you know kind of like in a far location. Anyway. But but the enterprise, this is the word I'm trying to look for, but the enterprise goes into a huge undertaking, you know. Sort of like the Tower of Babel back in Genesis, I believe the tenth chapter. We had uh all the nations which were one at that time, all right, they had not yet you know, had different languages and whatnot. They wouldn't spread out because that was what the Lord said to do. He told them to, uh, after Noah got off the ark, he said, go be fruitful and multiply throughout the earth, spread throughout the earth. All right, but everybody got together and did the opposite of that. And they tried to build a tower to heaven in opposition to the Most High. Okay, and that's what they're trying to do now. Okay, this is a, a reenactment of that. Scripture said that there's nothing new under the sun. Okay, so they're trying to, they're trying to start a whole nother project in opposition against the most high, man. Okay. We look over here in the NLT. It says he frustrates the plans of schemers. So the work of their hands will not succeed. Okay. You see? So they're not going, they're not going, you know, they're not going to succeed. Verse 13 in the KJV, it says he take up the wise in their own craftiness. And the counsel of the forward is is carried headlong. In the NLT, it says he traps the wise in their own cleverness, so their cunning schemes are thwarted. <laughs> All right, 
And it's sort of like uh, the wicked Haman. And when you read the book of Esther, you know, who was plotting against the Israelites to have them all put to death, okay? And ultimately, the, the Lord had him, him, him and his family hanged on the gallows, all right, that he was trying to place Mordecai on, man. Okay, so, yeah. Is there more? Yeah, there's more. There's more to it. Uh, the 14th verse. It says, They meet in darkness uh, in the daytime. They grope in noonday as in the night. You know, with these different meetings. So that's a point on this. Now let's go back to the article. And I got to make haste because, uh, as you see, I only got 6% battery power. Matter of fact, let's see if I can find somewhere to charge up. All right, cool, cool. Uh, what did I leave off reading? Um, I think it's right here. Nope, nope. This is paragraph. <clears throat> Bear with me. It says, uh, hundreds of public sessions are planned, but the four-day conference is also known as secretive background meetings and dealings. Okay, no, no, we just, we just, uh, just read that so like quote it says when we have very high levels of ambiguity it's very easy to fill in narrative says Kathleen Hall Jameson who is a director of the Amnibury Am Public uh, Policy Center at the University of Pennsylvania also studies misinformation see <laughs> you know hey Family of the word finna happen, man. They keep, they keep on talking about misinformation. You know, they want their plan to go off without a hitch. So they got to get rid of uh, other talking points, man. Anyway, it says, theories about influ influential global leaders are not, no are not new, she said. But scrutiny from the forum and its chairman, Klaus Schwab, intensified in 2020 in the early days of the cv 19 demic. That year, the theme of an annual meeting was the Great Reset. All right, because they want to they wanna reset everything, man, which is going to cause a lot of instability. That's why Klaus Schwab even said, he said, prepare for an, a more angry world. Okay, you're going to have people that's going to be uh, frustrated on the second go around. All right, because people are starting to see like a lot of, a lot of people dropping dead off the juice and, and this and that. So a lot of people's like, no, nah, man, this, this shit is fishy, man, you know. They want to go back to life as uh as normal. See, but this is the new normal, man. Okay? Anyway. Uh Salakia. Salakia. It says the incentive invites sweeping changes to how societies and economics will work to recover from a demic and build a more suitable future. Alright. And that's the reason why they need demics. All right. To uh, it's 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 for it's for the means of re uh, resetting everything. Anyway, it says now in increasingly mainstream corners of the internet and in the concert conservative conservative talk shows, the Great Reset has become shorthand for what skeptics say is a recon recognition of society using global un in uncertainty as a guise to take rights away right and that's what the thing is man global insecurity uh i mean global uncertainty when it comes to all these different topics man all these different talking points okay that's why they need uh order out of chaos man they need they create the uh we go into the hegelian dialectic problem reaction solution they create a problem all right a uh a global demic all right you know, uh, and all these different issues. So then they get the reaction out of the people and, you know, then so they come in with a uh, solution. Okay. Which is also ultimately the MOTB. All right. To control the pop population. All right. They're going to come in with martial law and all that to implement it all. You see. <clears throat> it says, um, oh, and that uh, credit system. It says believers argue that measures including demic lockdowns and V mandates are tools for consoli to consolidate power and undercut individual sovereignty. Yes, true. All right. It says 
In a time of mounting anxiety, Jamison says the public has become more susceptible to falsehoods <laughs> as, as conspiracy theories emerge as a tool to cut through the chaos. Researchers, researchers who monitor extremism say these beliefs are becoming more popular and more concerning. You see? All right. So, hey, man, this script is on that, man. I talk about global instability. All right. Scripture speak about the uproars of the people in the uh, second Ezra is the ninth chapter. Anyway, and we're going we're gonna to get it. We're going to grab him. But anyway, let's keep reading, though. It says at a rally stage on the grounds of an un upstate New York church last fall, the photo of Swab was displayed on the center of the large screen alongside other villains accused of threatening American values. And a crowd of thousands are gathered in a re Re revivalist tent in the traveling roadside traveling roadside used as a recruiting tool for an ascended Christian nationalist nationalist movement participants discussed the great reset among a host of other theories as an assault on Amer Americans foundations you know and these cutthroat Americans all right particularly from the Bible Belt states so-called Christians all right, they believe in white Jesus and all that. All right, they're gonna be uh, they're gonna be hey, they're gonna be pissed off, man. The world in general, man. But a lot of you know, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be crazy. Anyway, <clears throat> it says the phrase was used more than sixty times across all programs on Fox News on in twenty twenty, according to the tally generated by the Internet Archives TV News database. This. That's up to 30 mentions in 2021 and about 20 in 2020 in 2020. It was discussed more frequently on in Ingraham Engel Angle and Tucker Carlson tonight. OK, which a lot of those, uh, you know, if you see him on Fox, Fox News and whatnot, they may bring out a little information here and there. But ultimately, they work for uh, they work for the elites, man. You, know, you want to go to the. Uh, you know, underground, in uh, independent, independent uh sources, man. You know, alternative uh news sources. Anyway, it says on August, and in August, amid a defamation trial for the calling, for calling the Sandy Hook Elementary School attack a hoax, Infowars Alex Jones released a book called The Great Reset, and the war from the world, and the and the war for the world. It describes as an analyst for the globalist elite international conspiracy to enslave humanity and all life on the planet. And Alex Jones, we don't, hey, he may be an insider, you know, working for the elites, who knows. But ultimately, you know, uh, uh, what they did with him in that defamation trial is what they're going to try to do with everybody, man. All right. To silence everybody. That was just a, they put him in the forefront. They used him as an example. They say, hey, y'all want to speak the truth? This is what, this what can happen. Okay. Anyway, it says, uh, as the world economy, for, world economic forum has become in, in, intertwined with this narrative, a steady stream of claims have plunged the organization. While some people offer a legitimate cr uh, criticism of the forum, namely that the host that it hosts wealthy executives to fly in on emissions spewing corporate jets. Others spread unverified or baseless information as facts. All right, yeah, yeah. So that's what they want to do, man. They want to they want to put everybody as as uh anybody that speaks truth is is a, is a bug out tinfoil hat uh conspiracy theorist, man. All right, when ultimately they're telling the truth. Um, scripture that say, uh, what did to call evil good and good evil? Okay, you can spread all type of lies and disinformation, all type of shit that's evil. People think it's good, all right? But when you spread the truth, uh, uh and you're an enemy of the state, I, like scripture say, have I become thy enemy because I tell you the truth? You see, anyway, uh, let's see. It says, for example, the site known for spreading fabricated stories falsely claimed last month that Swab publicly encouraged the discrimination of sex between 
children and adults <laughs> using a inter uh invented quote the other baseless statements still it drew tens of thousands of shares on twitter and facebook all right and uh yeah man they got a thing called uh damn what's it called it uh, it escapes me right now man where they're trying to legalize pedophilia it's called um shit I cannot remember um man if it come back to me i'll bring it up but um Yeah, but it's, it's the thing, man. They trying to legalize uh, pedophilia, man. All right. It says, meanwhile, population claimed that the forum wants people to replace meat with bugs as a distorted reference to the article once published on the organiza organization website. In another instance, a widely sh shared post claimed without evidence that the forum had appointed U.S. Rep. Kevin McCarthy as Speaker of the House before the actual vote had taken place you know it's a lot it's a lot to this article now that i've realized it man but i only got two more paragraphs so I might as well read it <clears throat> damn the pedophile thing though man oh man can't believe i forgot it i'm gonna do a whole another lesson as it pertains to that you know but anyway it says the concerning the concern fred field said is the post like these could introduce people to more fringe and dangerous conspiracy theories and even translate into real world violence okay that's what's coming behind all this man that's why Klaus Schwabi all right said prepare for a more angry world okay and that's the thing that's that's what's coming man it says uh Zan Zuf head of the media from the forum says the organization has increased its monitoring for this kind of online activity and carefully watches for direct threats okay so yeah that's what they're doing man they're watching with the eagle eye all right uh it says quote creating all that kind of stuff can generate enemies that people believe are responsible for whatever bad thing is happening in the world fred phil said once that happens when you believe that when you believe that things are happening in the world and certain people certain persons or group of people is responsible for these attacks all of a sudden the idea of using violence to resist becomes more plausible okay which this brings me to and i guess we can close it out in second Ezra's man all right because that's what's gonna happen man shit is going shit is gonna ramp up to the point of violence because people is uh on to what's going on man damn what is it uh Second as is 15. Get right to the point. Alright. Second as is 15 and 4. 14. It says, Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. For the sword and the destruction draw of nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another with swords in their hands. Okay? Swords going into guns and you know things of that nature. Even literal swords. Okay? Because it's going to be all out, every man for itself, free for all, man. All right. Verse uh, 16, it says, For there shall be sedition among men in invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and in the courses, course of their actions shall stand in their power. Right. So there's going to be sedition. All right. And when you go into this word sedition, let's get it real quick. Go to this word real quick. Uh, I don't know what's wrong. The uh, the uh, thing, man. So like you. Wow, man, what? 
Hey, you know what? Never mind. Never mind. Look, we ain't gonna even worry about trying to look the word up. Sedition just goes into an uprising against the government. All right. In my search engine, I did have a, a look at the thing, man. You know, every now and then we have a little yun yun, little wine. Nothing wrong with that. Um, but anyway, sedition just goes into uprising against the government. All right. Uh, let me jump down to here to verse 19. It says, A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor and shall destroy their houses with the sword and shall spoil their, spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. Okay? And the scriptures speak about that, man. The hour. Uh, um, there's going to be a coming a, a, a time on earth such as never been nor shall ever be all right of great tribulation you see people ain't gonna have no pity upon each other man uh the book of matthew the 24 chapter says the love of many shall wax cold okay oh another scripture that come to mind it's in this very same book uh, what is it Here we go. Second Ezra 6 and 24. It says, At that time shall friends fight one against another like enemies. All right. So, you know, your, your, your friendly neighbor, all right, is going to become your enemy. All right. People that was one one time, um, you know, long, uh, long standing friends, they're going to become enemies, man. All right. That's how bad it's going to get out here. So it says, At that time, friends shall fight once again, one, one against another like enemies. And the earth shall stand in fear in those that dwell therein. And the springs and fountains shall stand still in three hours they shall not they shall not run. Okay. And there's a ton more scriptures, man, that we go into about um, you know, the hell that's coming. But for the sake of time, you know, I already kind of been long winded with this lesson. But yeah, we're gonna end it off on that note, man, because you know, I gotta get I gotta go handle some business. You know, but yeah, I pray and hope that Lord willing, this lesson was edifying to you. Hopefully, like Akium while Aquaf out there, man. All right, keep your eyes open, stay vigilant. You know, watching for the prophecies, man. Okay, Scripture saying, uh, Second Ezra's the ninth chapter, measure thou the time diligently in itself, right? And you measure the time via the prophecies written in the Scriptures. Okay, that's how you know what time we 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 living in, man. And we we at the end, no doubt about it. And that's what they beating for, man, because they know they got but a short time. So yeah, with that being said, Lord willing, you were edified. Till next time I say, shalom.